don't you tell me why you're here. Why you're interrupting me for the second time. Well, this is why I'm here for the second week in a row. I told you. I told you last week that we would become tag team partners. No, no matter how bad you didn't want to, I don't give a damn. We're doing it. Oh, we're doing it, huh? We're doing it. What makes you think I'm going to be your tag team partner? What did you accomplish at Great Class A? You think is going to change my mind to a yes? Well, I told you last week before you walked out the door that one, don't turn your back on me. And two, I was going to do something nobody else would. I pinned you at great class. I didn't see anybody else pin you or eliminate you because it was your own brother. Well, guess what? I will be man enough to stand here and say, yes, you pinned me. Something that nobody else did in great class. So I envy you. But, I still don't think you're ready, and I still don't think you deserve me as a partner. Because you know what? You're still in the minor leagues, little brother. Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm in the minor leagues, swinging a bat. I'm swinging a ball over the fence while everybody else is sitting on the bench not doing nothing. Well, that might be fun and all with the minors, but where I'm at and where everybody else is, we're in the majors. So you, of all people, think you're man enough to step to the majors? You're damn right. <laughs> well, good. Because come lifeline, I want that little brother. I want that Cody Cole. You do? Yeah. You do? I want that okay. Cody Cole lifeline. Because guess why? Why? Because guess why? Why? Because come lifeline, we're going to shock the future. Welcome everybody to Next Level, number seven. Tonight, we have three standings matches. The first, Nathan Slade, John Gracie, 1v1. The second, D4 and Henry Mack. They meet for the third time tonight. And Chris Davidson will take on the Jersey Devil. And all of that is next. tell you what's about to happen, I almost feel like you didn't get a fair warning of this ass whooping that I'm about to give you. So, let me just start. I know since you beat me, beat me on next level number three, something's been off. I've had this aggression towards everyone this mean streak, and I don't know what it is, and I don't know how to stop it. But I know throughout the weeks, episode four, quest for gold, five, six, and now the great clash, it's just been growing and growing and trying to surface. And I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of keeping it under wraps, but you're really starting to piss me off and it's because every single time I get a chance, not to sound like I'm bitching and moaning, but every time I get a chance, some of your little magical bullshit happens and you walk away holding that title, and I've had enough of it. 
You see on next level number three, I got counted out. And then you defended your title against Luna Tank and Chris Davidson helped you win and retain that title. I don't understand that, but what really irks my nerves is I stomped Cody Cole's head in. He didn't even deserve to be in the match. I won the Great Clash. The deal was I win, I face you, and I face Nick Alexander, and I don't know where the hell he is. I don't know who the clergy is. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I don't give a shit at this point. What I give a shit about is taking your title. So, I want to give you this offer, and it's a pretty sweet deal, but I'm only going to offer it once. I will continue to keep this thing, this rage that wants to surface, I'll keep it under wraps and face you one-on-one -on -one like a man at Lifeline if you sign a contract. However, if you continue to be a little pussy about it, I'll have no choice. I'll have to win my match this week, win my match next week, the cards will have to be in my favor. But when it's all said and done, I see me facing you at Lifeline no matter what you do. So, you give me what I want, you give me what I deserve, and we can have D4 versus King Neon Part 3, the epic conclusion to the trilogy, or you don't sign the contract. It's not D4 versus King Neon. It's going to be something way more sinister versus King Neon. And I just don't see you walking out alive. Ladies and gentlemen, D4 issuing a challenge to King Neon. Will he sign the contract? I don't know. But I know that Nathan Slade is taking on Don Grayson right here on Next Level. And guess what? That is next. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Slade debuted against D4. We saw him in the Great Clash before he was eliminated by Luna Tank. And here he is on next level number seven, ready to do business and take care of Don Grayson. Let's go. Get up, get up! He has modified the silver bullet, and it's even more devastating now. We'll find out. But hey, first, hey. I move with the elegance of an African elephant. I present with an elephant. Jefferson is a president. Evident if you ever see, I deserve me a championship. But before I banana clip, I'm a chill, so I'm making room. Little man against Henny and with the heart of an orphan. I got the words of a murderer and I offer distortion. You take a slice of my portion, I'll take a piece of your profit. I drive an illegal speed to keep an OZ in my pocket. We run the jewels in your town, a quarter pound on my person. I'm known for pounding the stage. I'm talking burning and cursing. Producer gave me a beat. Said it's the beat of the year I said LP didn't do it So get the As fuck out of here You wanna hang, bring your throat I got stools in a rope I'm a slang pole A ring in a land with a man's flow A new addition to the art of the old code That's fully retarded And put a card in your bow hey, He always gives his all in every match How about you grow a couple inches? Alright, let's get the match on And these two competitors already going at it Stiff right and an elbow but Don Grayson fighting back. These two men already seem very hostile toward one another. Nathan Slade not taking anything. Don Grayson might be the veteran neck breaker there from Don Grayson. He may be the veteran, but Nathan Slade doesn't really care at this point. Don Grayson talking that smack. And the leg sweep from Nathan Slade. Forearm smash to the back, and he's gonna hook him. Throws him out of the ring, and he might have got caught up there on the side of the ring. Two. Head smash. Three. What's Nathan Slade looking at? Four. And a clothesline drops Don 
Grayson. One. What athleticism one. Get it back in the ring. from Nathan Slade. Two. Definitely one of the more athletic competitors Three. here on the roster. But can he pick up a win against the man, Don Grayson? And on the rebound, Don Grayson drops him with a clothesline. If Don Grayson were to win here tonight, his record would be two and one. That's a 66, that's a 667 win percentage, ladies and gentlemen. That would look very nice going into Lifeline, but it would position him to face the next best win percentage next week. Potentially, Don Grayson could win here tonight, win next week, and go face King Neon for the championship. Can he pull out all the stops to make that dream a reality? And the ref at a count of six, Don Grayson gets back in the ring. Him and Nathan are gonna lock up and just the strength advantage that Don Grayson has over Nathan Slade. But Nathan Slade is striking with all of his might. Don Grayson, being the veteran that he is, trying to get a little bit of space between him and Nathan Slade. I don't know what he just said. I think he said seven up. What a refreshing beverage. Drops Nathan Slade. Don't know who got the worst of that exchange. It looks like he hit a clothesline on Don Grayson. Nathan Slade, that move looked like it took just as much out of him as it did Don Grayson. Don Grayson, nobody saw him coming into the Great Clash. The post on the Instagram didn't have his picture in it. And I think most elbow drop there from Don Grayson. I think most of the AWE fan base had completely forgotten about Simba the Great. And bam, there he is as he applies an ankle lock on Nathan Slade. He shows up to the Great Clash with the best win percentage. Shocks the hell out of everybody, and I'm glad that he made it back in time for that match. If you guys remember correctly, he was going to be in the Quest for Gold tournament, and he was going to face Henry Mack in the first round, but he suffered a syndesmotic sprain in his right ankle, and it took him weeks to recover. Then he had to get back in ring shape, and now we're seeing him in the best ring shape that we've ever seen him in. Catches him with the knee to the face. Can we get another look? Slow motion this time. Look at that. Solid impact right on the chin of Nathan Slade. We all know. We all know, he said. And he picks him up in the fireman's carry. Lion's Den plants. Nathan Slade. This could definitely be it. One, and will it? One, two, two. And uh, what the hell? What is Don Grayson going to have to do? That's his bread and butter. The Lion's Den. Stiff right. And an enziguri. From Nathan Slade, this man is striking like there ain't no tomorrow. You heard the impact on that forearm. Here's the Whoa. cover. Two. Rope right, rope right. He's in the ropes. Don Grayson, such a veteran in this industry. It's it's almost weird to call him a veteran because after his first match, he suffered an injury and he's only been in the Great Clash since. But here he is. And we know what this sets up. Let's see that in modified silver bullet. Kick right to the side of the face. I think Don Grayson might be out cold. One, two. Two count. Two count. Oh, my God. I don't know what we just witnessed, but the silver bullet. The silver bullet connected. On the side of Don Grayson's face, and he had the wherewithal to kick out of that. 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nathan Slade, that's not an easy maneuver to hit. That takes so much skill. And a kip up from Don Grayson. He's getting fired up. Don Grayson looking to make a comeback against Nathan Slade. And a knee to the midsection. And a stomp. Oh, but a leg sweep. And he flips him over into a pin. What a maneuver. And there's a pin. And a kick out from Nathan Slade. And another right. Nathan Slade could be a boxer. And a forearm. Don Grayson catches him. These two men seem to not like each other very much because they're being so stiff. I cannot believe the action that is going on in this match in the knee to the midsection by Don Grayson. He works his way around. What's he going for? It looks like he has a hold applied. An inverted DDT. And there it is. I don't even know what to call it. A flip over cutter of some sort. Maybe he'll give that one a name. Looks like it planted Nathan Slade right on his face. And Nathan Slade has just gone limp. That move, we've never seen Don Grayson or Simba the Great hit that move and it looks like it might become a big part of his arsenal and he's telling us to shut the hell up because he's getting ready for it. And a corkscrew from Don Grayson, an athletic maneuver. Could that put this one away? Can he roll Nathan Slade over and get into the cover? One, two, three. And a slow count from the referee and everything, and he still can't kick out. All of the wind was knocked out of him. Let's get some replays. Hey, this hey. clothesline was I've fantastic. I've been with the elegance of an African elephant. I presented the evidence. And the Tell the winners right the president. The ever did it to ever I deserve Life me a championship. But before I banana clip, I'm a chill from my man. So much action in this match. Me with the heart the of a orphan. I got the words of a murderer. And I opt for distortion. You take a slice of my portion. And I'll I take a piece what? of your profit. I'll drop it in the seat to keep it on C in my pocket. We run this in your town. A quarter pound on my purse. And I'm known for pounding the stage. I'm talking burning and cursing. The producer gave me a beat, said it's the beat of the year. I said LP didn't do it, so get the fuck out of here. You wanna hang, bring his throat? I got stools in a rope. I'm a slang pole, a ring in a land with a man's flow. A new addition to the. It's only the beginning. I'll do Mac like I did Lee. I'll do Hodge. I'll destroy him. He'll destroy him. Yeah, I'm starting. Hey, hey. I move with the elegance of an African elephant. Henry I presented the evidence. Eloquent as a president. Evident is the evidence. I deserve me a championship. But before I banana clip, I'm a chip on my man. Getting ready to respond to these four with the Hollywood Hulk. Will he sign the contract or will he not? We're gonna find out right now as our world champion makes his way out to the ring. Looking at the title like, yeah, I've still got it. He's had this title for months, ladies and gentlemen, and he doesn't look like he's gonna lose it anytime soon. Now. I feel like I'm always stuck in this situation. Something happens for me and my title, and then I have to address it to the AWE. Well, for what D4 said earlier, I am not gonna sign a contract. You have shown me nothing, and I mean nothing, for you to challenge me for this belt. And I don't get why you keep trying to come after like you and Nick Alexander you just don't seem to get it. Like this happens over and over and over again. I've been in the triple threat twice and y'all have not come out on top. 
So I don't get why either of you want to challenge me for the belt. So my thing with Nick Alexander has done. He's not getting another title shot. Now D4, I'm not. I'm just not coming after you. And I do not want to go against you at Lifeline. It's not going to happen. So either you can find another title or you could just leave. That's all I really have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, the disrespect shown to D4 by King Neon there. This is a hostile environment right now. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to face him. But I do know that D4 and Henry Mack are squaring off one-on-one. -on -one, and that's next. I push my fingers into my D4. It's the only thing slowly stops the An impressive showing at Great Clash. He won the Battle Royale. And he was inches away. One misstep from winning the World Championship. And I've never seen D4 as disappointed. Brutally assaulted King Neon after the triple threat and said he has one more pay-per-view to hold on to that title. And you can tell D4 is just angry. He feels that he deserves the title, but... Get ready because the dynasty is here! Henry Mack is in the building! The first ever AW World Champion is out here to teach D4 a lesson. The most athletic big man in the company, in the business. And he and D4 are going to square off in the strength advantage. It's clear right away, but D4, he's known to be a pestilence to many. As he comes back in a big shoulder block from D4, and he just kind of shrugs it off. I think he wants some more. And it's a windy day out here at AWE. And he throws him to the other trampoline, and D4 looks like he might have hit the back of his head there. And Henry Mack in full control, Irish whip. But D4 hits a handspring out of nowhere. What's he going for? And a flying kick. Oh my god, I don't know what just happened, but I know Henry Mack hit a complete backflip off that kick. D4, I've never seen him hit that move. And a punch to the gut. Knee to the side of the face, into a side headlock. Nice transition there from D4, but he's put on his back by Henry Mack. Bars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a storied rivalry. These were the last two men on the first episode left in the ring. Henry Mack trying to throw him out, but D4 catches himself, jumps back in the ring, and a kick to the side of Henry Mack's face. Going for the cover and a two count. These were the final two men. Kick to the side of the head, left in the ring, fighting for the world championship on the first episode. Then they had that banger of a Falls Count Anywhere match on episode four during the Quest for Gold tournament. And here today, they meet for the third time. D4, we know what this means. Here it comes. Swanton Bomb. Picture perfect every time we see it from D4. And that move becoming more and more deadly as the weeks go on. He put out Cody Cole with it. He put out Nathan Slade with it. He hit it in the Great Clash Battle Royale. And we know what he's calling for. D4. He's competed in the most matches in AWE. So we know his moveset pretty well. The run-up spear connecting and dropping Henry Mack. Piercing. Piercing impact. And there's no, where's the ref? D4 had to yell at the ref. And another slow count. The ref seems to be a little confused. That's okay. I think Matt could have kicked out either way. 
D4 with a forearm smash. And a clothesline turns D4 inside out. Henry Mack. Looks like he's going for a suplex. What a perfect suplex. Putting D4 on his back. Sliding into the cover is Henry Mack. D4 kicking out on time. These two men, two of the best in this company when it comes to competing. They never seem to put on a bad match. I can promise you that. Ooh, and a big chop there from D4 and another chop. And D4 laughing off the hits, the beating that he's taking from Henry Mack and a DDT plants him on his face. That's not a that's not a pin, D4 says. We know the taunt. We know the man, we know the moveset, we know the taunt. But what I don't know about D4 is this rage he keeps snapping into every episode in a frog splash! Connecting with the back this time of Henry Mack. D4 rolling in to the cover. And Henry Mack just kicking out. Henry Mack. You can't forget that Henry Mack was the first world champion in this business. He's not a pushover. Throws D4 face first. D4 turns around. Looks like he's going to that dark place. Goes for a kick. But Henry Mack is a brick wall. Shrugging it off in a shoulder block. D4. The growl. Throws the shoe and a drop kick to the back. Not the first time we've seen him do that against Henry Mack. He said the second time. Super kick to the side of the face of Henry Mack. Henry Mack. Henry Mack, what awareness to grab the ankle. But D4 just as aware of his surroundings, grabs the ropes. I think Henry Mack just said it's over. D4 goes for a chop. Goes for a knee strike. He misses. Snap German suplex from Henry Mack. D4 just got put on the back of his neck. But he's rolling out of the way. So what is Henry Mack going to have to do to put D4 away? He's in a compromising position. Super kick to the back of the head. And we know what that leads to. It's a stunner. Can he do it here today? Can he put D4's dreams away? Crash landing, D4. That could be the end of the fairy tale. And D4 kicks out at the very last second. Going back, channeling, channeling that rage, channeling that hatred, and he's going to town on Henry Mack here on next level number seven. Almost inhuman at this point. And we know what this leads to, the kill shot. But Henry Mack dodges. D4 smirks it off last. And a spinning heel kick to Henry Mack. One, two, three. Right on the jaw. That could be all she wrote and it will be. D4 is moving on. Let's get some replays. This kick sent Henry Mack flying. And this swan's almost picture perfect. But what else would we expect from a performer of this caliber? Run up spear from D4. Always such a beauty to watch. And the crash landing from Henry Mack. Goes for the kill shot, misses. 
and just laughs it off because he knows. Henry Mack. Good complete. The upset. Carry on. Escaped for the last time. One more week. One more victory. I don't give a shit if it's Don Grayson. I'll put his ass down too. You know why? Because I want the title that you don't deserve. That he didn't deserve. That I deserve. And that's why next week on number eight, I don't care if you sign the contract or not. So when I pin Don Grayson, you'll have no choice but to face me at Lifeline. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. D4 and Don Grayson. Those are the two competitors who could challenge King Neon for the championship. But next, Chris Davidson and the Jersey Devil square off for the first time. And that's next. Chris Davidson is one of the most veteran wrestlers well, you in this business. Line. However, when every one of them is giving up and giving somehow, in, somehow in this house of mine, his first victory nothing has ever evaded comes without him. a consequence. Cost, tell me, well, the Since stars debuting. align. Oh, and we'll five. have a step in. Will it save us from a sin? Will it? Cause this house of mine stands strong. That's the price you pay. You can credit quite a few Leave losses. Behind your heart and cast away. To Luna Tank. Just another rivalry. product of today Rather be the hunter than the prey you see and he's standing on the edge face up Chris Davidson with that urinagi He has the urinagi, he has the fadeaway He's a great wrestler, a great performer But he's had a tough run of matches Since they debuted in this company without reprieve Chris Davidson looking for that first victory, but this man right here, How the Jersey I'm Devil, moving, but I'll break free. is going to be one tough cookie to crack. Mm -hmm. Fire in your eyes, you're burning red. Now the slider, mm -hmm. he can keep pace with the God best of them in this company. Tried, He's proven that. His presence scares the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Please no more. Please no more. You got the Jersey Devil and the Slider is ready for action here on X Level Number Seven. You got, you got the devil inside you. The devil inside you. He invokes you got, fear you got the in every opponent you. who comes the across his path. You got, you got the man out of the way. I'm gonna fight this guy right now. Days of rust, the leather jacket, rain. the dead gaze of Atlas Liger. Atlas Liger is another competitor who could, in the very near future, contend for a world championship. His record is two and three. With a win here tonight, he could go up to three and three. Chris Davidson looking to get on the board here in AWE with his first victory. I think if there's a guy deserving of a first victory, it's Chris Davidson. <laughs> Big drop kick there from Atlas Liger. Atlas Liger is such a technical, such a tactical wrestler. He's going for the DDT. And Chris Davidson using the strength, using the power that he has to flip Liger over. He's going for a clothesline, but Liger catches him in a spine buster. What timing. He picked Chris Davidson out of midair and planted him with a spine buster. And here it is, the Devil's DDT. Right in the center of the ring. Atlas Liger, the Jersey Devil. His only losses, his only losses have come against Henry Mack, the first world champion in AWE. 
in a two out of three falls match in which Liger picked up the first pinfall. The Redemption Five Way, in which Atlas Liger goes for the Devil's Cup, but he's pushed away in a closed line from Chris Davidson. Atlas Liger was not pinned in the Redemption Five Way, and the Great Clash, where his little brother Cody Cole, the future of this company, put him out. We saw earlier tonight Atlas Liger. Cody Cole forming a tag team. Super kick right on the chin. Forming a tag team. And at Lifeline, they're going to shock the future. I don't know what that means, but I know what this means. Shotgun drop kick on the outside. Sends Chris Davidson flying. Ladies and gentlemen, my only question to you is who's going to face the team of Cody Cole and the Jersey Devil at Lifeline? We have never had a tag team match here in AWE, so it's going to be interesting to figure out what that division is going to look like in the future. And he's going for the pitch perfect elbow again, but he's caught. The arm is caught by Chris Davidson, and he puts an arm bar. He applies it. And Atlas Liger trying to reach over, shifts the momentum. Shifts the momentum. It's a pin and a two count from Liger that arm has got to be in a lot of pain and he goes for the clothesline Chris Davis catches the win the urinog this could be it go for the cover Chris go roll over what the hell is going on here how's it feel huh how's it feel it's not bad get the hell out of here and Luna Tank says turn around, and he's going to turn around, and a big DDT from Atlas Liger, that could seal the deal, and Liger picks up the win, I don't like it, I don't have to agree with it, but it happened ladies and gentlemen, Chris Davidson has been cheated out of his first victory in this company, and it's all thanks to Luna Tank. Think. Oh, you. Oh, God. I can only imagine the things Luna Tank is about to do to Chris Davidson. Oh, God. And a power bomb. I've never seen Luna Tank hit a power bomb before. And we know what he's going for. We know the taunt. Chris Davidson is helpless. He is a helpless individual. These acts are disgusting. And a choke slam straight to hell. <laughs> Luna Tank. Chris Davidson. Chris Davidson has no. Oh my god. And the rolling senton from Luna Tank, adding insult to injury. Now you stay down there. Telling Chris to stay down there, but I don't think he's going to let him stay down there. And he runs Chris right into the tree. When is enough enough? That's my question. When does Luna Tank draw the line? When are these two guys going to finally squash this? How long can this go on? Chris Davidson, his efforts are useless at this point. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you guys for watching, but I don't know where to go from here. Lunatank, that was disgusting. We'll see you next time.